Hey guys, this is Big Apple Airsoft, and today we have a quick custom custom gun review on my Polar Star. Now, this is not a PR-15, it is actually a VFC body, Vega Force Company, with a fusion engine installed in the inside, as you can see. Now, right now I have the silver nozzle in, and I also have a blue nozzle. And for another internal upgrade, I have a Bravo hop-up, Bravo bucking, and a Bravo... 6.03 inner barrel that goes to the end of this flash hider. And now I'm going to go over the externals. On the back of the gun, I have a KWA crane stock. I like these because the clips in the back are really nice and it's easy to take off and holds the battery well. I also put some Velcro on there for my like patch. And right here, my sling plate is a Magful ASAP plate. I like it because you can transition from left to right with your sling on really easily. Now, my mags, I have three KWA K120 mags. And I have one Magpul PTSE mag. Uh, I have KJW 1022 flip-up sights. Uh, yeah. I like them because the front one is fiber optic or nylon, I don't know, something like that. And right here I have a UTG replica aim point or something like that. Some people would call it an ACOG, I call it an aim point. It's got green and red dot and it's adjustable for windage and elevation. Up here I have a Bravo peck box which has a functional flashlight and laser. Here is the laser which isn't working well right now. Oh wait, the cover was on. There's the laser, and hold on, there's the flashlight. Flashlight's not that bright, but don't really use it. I use it for the flash, the laser. So, right next to that, I have my BFC V3X uh, M3. I love this flashlight because it's really powerful and can um, blind your enemies. Now. I'm going to switch the pressure switch to this one for you guys. Yeah, it's a pretty bit bright flashlight. Point at the camera. Yeah, really bright. Uh, right here I have a Magpul RBG grip in black. Um, all guns black. Not really a fan of painted guns or tan guns. And I have one set of XTMs and an offset rail mount for my velcro pressure switch right here so I could use my flashlight like that now up here I don't know what brand this is but is a CAC replica uh, suppressor which is foamed I will show you guys that and it's QD as I did before I took it off really quickly now the foam's in there I don't know if you guys can see that and it actually does silence the gun. And underneath all these accessories is the Daniel Defense 7 inch, uh, I think they're light or wrist 2, no, uh, AR 15 rail 7.0 made by Daniel Defense. I love this rail system. There's no wobble, it's really sturdy, perfect length, especially for CQB. You take off the suppressor. And you make this like that. It's shorter than most CQB guns, like the uh, KWAs and stuff. So it's a really short gun. Really nice. I love the Polar Star. I'm I have my 4,500 PSI tank right here. With my regulator and my airline. And here's the gun. This is on semi. The mag is not loaded. I took that out anyway. And here's it. here it goes. Trigger pull is really short. I mean, it's kind of long in the beginning, but then once you get to the point that it has to be at. And Polar Stars are known for their great trigger response. So, I'll try to get it. So, yeah, that's on semi. And then I have it set for three-round bursts right here.
that's pretty much ending our custom gun review. So thanks for watching this review on my Polar Star. Um, sadly, I'm going to be getting rid of this gun because I don't really think $1,000 was worth for this gun. I'm just going to sell it and get something cheaper, but that's uh, not important. So thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh...